Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today I will be teaching you how you can make these beautiful crochet orchids. They are very easy to make and I will tell you step by step how you can make it. Okay, these are eight millimeters pearls. I will be using today a 1.75 millimeters crochet hook. We need hot glue gun, a little bit of this filling, uh, one stem, scissors, tapestry needle, uh, 22 gauge and 26 gauge wire, pliers, and yarn. This is 100% cotton and it's a sport weight. And for the green, I will be using this is 100% acrylic and three crochet markers. We are going to start with a magic circle. Then we are going to chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And we are going to place a marker in the last chain. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. And we are going to continue making one single crochet until we have 12. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. After the last uh, single crochet, make one slip stitch here in the magic circle. And we are going to repeat this process three more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Place a marker in the last chain. And beginning in the second chain from the hook, you're going to make one single crochet. And to the end. Make one slip stitch in the magic circle. And then you're going to repeat one more time, chain 13 and then 12 single crochets. When you are done with the 12 uh, single crochets, make one slip stitch here in the magic circle. Now pull this and close the magic circle. And we're going to look for the first uh, stitch here which is this one, and we're going to start by making one single crochet. In the next stitch, make one half double crochet. And then we're going to make eight double crochets. So we have one single, one half, and then eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochets. In the next stitch, we are going to make one half double crochet, and in the last stitch, one single crochet. Now here in the loop with the marker, 
we're going to make two single crochets in the same space one and two now we're going to be working in the opposite side one single crochet in the first stitch one half double crochet and then we're going to make a total of eight double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight double crochets in the last uh, in the next stitch one half double crochet and in the last stitch one single crochet the next stitch that we have here is the slip stitch in the magic circle so we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to look for the first stitch of the next pattern which is this one and we are going to repeat one single one half double and then eight double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight double crochets then one half double crochet and one single crochet into the last stitch remove the marker and in that loop we are going to make a total of two single crochets one and two working in the opposite side we are going to make one single crochet one half double crochet and then eight double crochets I forgot to tell you, but if you want, mark the first of the two single crochets that you did in the loop uh, here. So you will know where you're going to make the increases for the next um, round. I have my eight double crochets. Next stitch is going to be a half double crochet and in the last stitch one single crochet we are going to skip this one which is the slip stitch from the previous round and we're going to start here in the first one and make one single crochet and you're going to repeat what we did for these two one single crochet one half double eight double crochets one half double one single crochet and then two single crochet I am done here. I did my single crochet. And in the last uh, pedal, we're going to make one slip stitch here on top of the slip stitch from the previous round. We're going to make one chain. And we are going to add the wire. Just place it right there and we are going to start making one single crochet here in the first uh, single crochet so it's this one here and you're going to continue making one single crochet all the way to the marker when you reach the marker we are going to make two increases here these are the two uh, single crochet that we did on the on one loop so here make one increase and then go to the next one and make one more increase continue making one single crochet 
all the way to this point here and you are just going to continue making one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the marker again When you reach the marker, remove it. And we're going to make two increases in the next two stitches. Then we're going to continue making one single crochet down, up, and two increases here, and then one single crochet to the end. When you're done, make one slip stitch here, one chain, and you can cut the yarn and the white. For the big petals, start by making one magic circle and then uh, chain 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Mark uh, the last uh, chain and make one single crochet in each of the next 12 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Make one slip stitch here in the magic circle. Oops. And you're going to make again a chain 13 and then a 12 single crochets. When you're done, make one slip stitch into the magic circle and close it. Uh, for the big petals, we just need two. Now we're going to start here in the first stitch. And we're going to make one single crochet one single crochet in the next stitch in the next two stitches half double crochet one and two and then double crochets one two three four Six, seven, and here in the last stitch, eight double crochets. Remove the marker, and in this um, 
loop here, we're going to make a total of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Mark the middle of the stitch of this three here. And working in the opposite side, eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two half double crochets, one and two, and then two single crochets, one and two. The next stitch that you see here, uh, this was the slip stitch, so skip the slip stitch. And we're going to repeat the same process in the second pero, beginning with one single crochet, and one more, two single crochets. And then you're going to repeat two half double, eight double crochets, three double crochets here, then eight double crochets, two half double, and two single crochets. Okay, to finish here, we're going to make one slip stitch. This is the first single crochet that we did from the first pattern. So make one slip stitch. And uh, to add the wires, there are two ways to do it. I already showed you the first one, and now, the second one is that you can pass through the loop on the hook, the wire. Then chain one. And the wire is in place now. Okay, for the last uh, round, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch to the marker, beginning here in the first one. Continue making one single crochet all the way to the marker. And when re you reach the marker, in this stitch, we're going to make a total of three single crochets. One, two, and three. And we're going to, uh, to make a one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the next marker. And when you get here, make three single crochets and then one single crochet to the end. A slip a stitch to join, chain one, and cut the yarn. I have ready my tapestry needle, and we are going to here in the middle, just go like this between the stitches. And then pull you can give it go around twice. Then we can make a knot with the other piece of yarn that we have.
and these are the ones that are going to be on top here now we're going to make this part these two here and i will use the fuchsia color we're going to chain 13 one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, and 13. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, half double crochet, and one single crochet in the next. In the next two chains, we are going to make slip stitches. One and two. In the next chain, one single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. And here in the last um, chain, we are going to make a total of three single crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to be working in the opposite side. We're going to look for the first stitch and make one half double crochet. And we are going to hide this tail along the way. Double crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next, and single crochet. In the next two stitches, one slip stitch. two slip stitches and we're going to start here making one single crochet half double crochet double crochet half double crochet and in the last stitch make two single crochets or one increase with single crochet then slip stitch here on top of the first uh, single crochet uh, made one chain and you can cut this yarn Okay, now this part, chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Beginning the second chain from the hook, one single crochet, single crochet in the next, half double crochet. In the next two chains, add double crochets one and two half double crochet in the next two chains one two and in the last uh, chain three single crochets one two three working in the opposite side half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next we have two half double crochets now two double crochets one two one half double crochet and then two single crochets a slip stitch here on the first stitch made one chain and leave a little bit of churn here. I have ready here my tapestry needle and we're going to place this part here in the middle of the other part 
and we are going to attach the pearl here in the middle And we have the center of the flower ready. And now for the leaf, uh, I will start by making 30 chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 30 chains. Now beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet one single crochet in the next uh, chain half double crochet in the next two chains one two double crochet in the next two chains one and two in the next 17 chains we are going to make triple crochet yarn over twice and make one triple crochet yarn over twice and make a triple crochet and you are going to repeat this until you have a total of 17 After the 17 triple crochets, two double crochets. One and two. Three and four. In the next two chains, uh, half double crochets. One and two. And in the last chain, we're going to make a total of three single crochets. One, two, and three. And we are going to place a marker here in the second stitch, which is going to be the top of the leaf. Now we're going to be working in the opposite side. In the first stitch, half double crochet, half double crochet in the next. And then we're going to make four double crochets one two three and four and in the next 17 stitches make 17 triple crochets yarn over twice and make the triple crochet yarn over twice and make a triple crochet continue making triple crochet until you have in total 17 one double crochet in the next chain and one double crochet next two chains half double crochet one two and in the last two stitches a single crochet you slip a stitch here on top of the first one I cut here the wire for the um, leaf and it measures 41 centimeters and this one is the 22 gauge. Okay, after the lip, a slip stitch, just place the wire here, make one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. And you are going to continue making one single crochet all the way to the marker. Two, 
just like this one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the marker and healing this stitch with the marker we're, we're going to make a total of three single crochet in the same space one two and three and we are going to continue making one single crochet in each stitch to the end when you're done just make one slip stitch here on top of the first uh, single crochet and we are going to leave a yarn to cover the wire Now you can fix them the lip with your fingers like this and the next is going to be uh, this part with the pink color make one magic circle chain one and make uh, six uh, single crochets one two three four five and six close the magic circle and we're going to work in a spiral way so in the first stitch make one single crochet and you can place a marker here and we are going to make one more single crochet into the same space for the round number two we are going to be making six increases i have one ready second increase and just continue making four more increases now we have 12 uh, single crochets and from the round number three four five and six we are going to be making one single crochet in each stitch around no more increases so just work uh, the round three four five and six and i will come back with you making only one single crochet in each stitch I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I still need to make one more single crochet. So I will insert the hook, pull up a loop, and I will cut the pink color here, and I will attach the green color and finish the single crochet with the green color here. And I will make a knot here to secure this and for the next two rounds we're going to make one single crochet in each stitch as well but with the green color I finish here my two rounds with green color now it's time to stuff this part for the last round you can remove this marker and we're going to make six decreases taking the front loop of the stitches only okay here is one decrease and continue making uh, decreases taking the front loop of the stitch 
I have two. Three, just make three more decreases. Okay, I have six decreases. And you can slip a stitch here on top of the first decrease now to finish. And make sure to leave enough yarn to cover the wire. And we are not going to close this um, hole here. We're just going to leave it like that. And if you want to make some uh, something like this, we are going to start by making one magic circle. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains. Beginning in the second chain, uh, we're going to make one single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. The slip stitch into the magic circle. Chain seven. We have three, four, five, six, seven. And you are going to repeat a, a six single crochet, a slip stitch, chain seven, and, and then six uh, single crochets. Okay, I did my slip stitch. And uh, we're going to make one round with a half double crochet, beginning in the first uh, stitch. Make one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, half double crochets. In here, in the next loop here, two half double crochets, one and two. Now continue working in the opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here in the slip stitch, make one slip stitch. And then you're going to repeat six half double crochets and then two half double crochets in the loop and then six half double crochets and a slip stitch. And when you are done making the six double crochets, one slip stitch, one chain and you can fasten off. Okay, now we're going to take these two petals and we are going to pass the stem here in this um, space. And then we are going to just make a couple of Turns like this. And with this piece of yarn, we're going to cover the wire. Take the same green yarn that you used to make the leaves and we're going to cover this um, stem here.
Now we can arrange the petals. And we are going to add hot glue in this part here. Press it down and let it dry. I have here the center ready. And just place it in the middle like this and press it down and let it dry. For this part, it's the same as we did for the for this tree. Okay, I didn't make any pink one for this one. But for this one I did, so I will show you what I'm going to do. I cut a here a piece of the 22 gauge wire. I will fold this here and pass it here in the middle. And for this part, I will add a, this is a flat pearl. So I will add here enough glue, right here in the middle. Or you can add the, a round pearl as well, it's up to you. Just like this. Okay, we are going to start assembling the orchid. And for that, I have this wire here. And we're going to cover. Add enough uh, hot glue here. And we are going to add the bud like here, uh, like this, and let it dry a little bit. Next, I will attach this, um, the first flower. Next, we are going to add the stem and the first flower here. So I will add hot glue. Add the flower. I 
this part here is complicated it's hard to wrap the stem Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like and share on your social media. And I hope the process was clear to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.